Listening Library presents Who Was Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart? by Jonah Zeldis McDonough. Read for you by Kevin Pariseau. Who Was Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart? More than two hundred years ago, there was a little boy who learned to play a musical instrument at the age of three. It was called a clavier, which was an old-fashioned stringed instrument that also had a keyboard. By the time he was five, he was composing beautiful music, all by himself. At eight, he had learned to play two more instruments, the violin and the organ. Now he could play three instruments. His father was a musician, too. He wanted everyone to pay attention to his talented son. But some people had a hard time believing that a small boy could be so talented. They thought his father had written the music for him. Or that the boy wasn't a child at all, but a very small adult. There had to be some kind of trick. A man who was both a lawyer and a musician decided to find out. He tested the boy for many hours. He asked the boy to play a very difficult piece of music. The boy played it easily and well. Then he asked the boy to make up a piece of music for him, right there on the spot. Again, the boy did an excellent job. Then a cat came into the room. Right away, the boy stopped playing music and got up to chase it. There was no doubt in the man's mind. The boy was really just a boy, except when he played or wrote music. Then the boy was a genius. Who was this boy? His name was Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, and here is his story. Chapter 1. Little Boy, Big Talent Papa Leopold Mozart was very strict. He was a composer and violinist in Salzburg, in Austria. When he was finished working for the day, Leopold came home and gave his daughter and son music lessons. Over and over they played what he taught them. They spent hours, every day, practicing. Both children became really good musicians, but the boy, Wolfgang, was even more talented than his sister. Wolfgang was born on January 27, 1756, in Salzburg, Austria. Six children had come before him, so he was the baby of the family. But only Wolfgang and his big sister, Maria Anna, lived past their first birthdays. Back then, when babies or young children got sick, there were no medicines like there are today, so, sadly, it was common for children to die. Because Wolfgang had such a long name, his family called him Wolferl, or sometimes Wolfie for short. Maria Anna was called Nanerl, and the family dog was called Bumperl. When Nanerl was seven, Papa Leopold started teaching her how to play the clavier. Wolfie, who was only three, could not keep away from the lessons. He would sit on the floor, listening to the music while she played. But Wolfie was not satisfied. He wanted more. He wanted to play, too. After Nanerl's lesson was over, he went up to the clavier. He was so small that he had to stand on his toes to reach the keys. He tried one note, and then another. He liked the sounds that came out of the clavier. They made him smile. But when he played two notes he didn't like, it made his ears hurt. He'd become so upset that he'd cry. Even as a tiny child, Wolfie knew which notes sounded right together and which notes did not. Papa Leopold started giving Wolfie lessons, too. Soon, Wolfie could play all the tunes in Nanerl's music notebook. As soon as Wolfie heard a tune, he could play it right back. Papa Leopold could hardly believe it. He made notes on how quickly and easily the little boy learned music. Once, when Wolfie was about four, Papa Leopold saw a sheet of music that the boy had been working on. At first, Papa laughed, thinking it was nonsense, but when he looked more closely, he realized that it was a musical composition, and a complicated one at that. Many of the notes were... 
Sample complete. Ready to continue?